what we're going to speak about today is my top tips on how you can be productive working from home, right? So many female entrepreneurs, whether you're just getting started, it's just you, or you've got a small team, there's going to be some, sometime, if not your entire working day that you'll be spending from home, right? So today we're going to deep dive into kind of my top tips in terms of like your productivity and making sure that you're getting the most done as well as pausing and having a bit of separation, which can be quite tough when we're working from home, right? So my first one and one of my biggest rules has to do with this guy right here, <laughs> has to do with your phone. What I normally recommend doing is if you can set it to do not disturb mode, you can always have it set up so that if you've got favorites um, that need to come through, like if we've got the school or your hubby or anything like that, and those, those phone calls need to come through, you can have it set up that those people can still reach you, but outside of kind of emergencies, you don't need to be checking that, right? So that's one key distraction that we see a lot of female entrepreneurs fall into is if their phone is readily available, it's too easy to start scrolling and get distracted from what we're working on, right? My next big tip is creating a routine. So whether that is getting up in the morning, putting on a pot of coffee, making a cup of getting changed, showered, ready to go so that you feel good, not just staying in our trackies and things like that for the day, normally getting up and yeah, getting ready as if you were going into an office can definitely help still make it feel like you're getting ready to go to work. So usually having that routine and also um, blocking out kind of when you're gonna be working. So having that regular routine can definitely help you in terms of your overall productivity. And the next, that leads really nicely into my next tip, which is all about your workspace. So you wanna be working in a space that feels really comfortable and really natural, um, just overall. And usually if you can set that up either in a separate room or just in a separate kind of desk space in your home, then it allows you just to have that, a little bit of separation for when you're not working as well. So we like to be able to close off our computer, shut down, at the end of a working day, right? Whether we're in an office or at home. Otherwise, you can just feel like you're constantly at work if we don't have that kind of degree of separation, right? All right, so my next tip is having the option to change it up because it can be, especially if we're working from home all the time, it can be um, a bit isolating, right? I'm sure we've all experienced it when we get a bit of cabin fever if we are in the same place for too long and we're not getting out and about. So having a few other alternative options when you're starting to feel like that, whether it's a coffee shop, a library, or anywhere else that you can go to just to get out and have a second kind of working space just to clear your head, especially I find for more creative activities can be super, super helpful to have that change of scenery. So having that as an option as well, especially if we are working from home full time can definitely, definitely help and yeah, reduce that cabin fever. All right, so my next tip for you is all around prioritizing our tasks. So this can be super important, especially with reducing our overwhelm of what we need to get done with, get done inside of a day. And looking at our task list and actually looking at what are the high priority things that need to get done and what are the low. And a really great way to then translate that into kind of your routine is time blocking. So just setting aside when you're gonna work on certain activities and when you're not. Um, just again, so that we're not context switching and jumping in between tasks, as you can lose up to 80% of your productivity just by context switching alone. So just by going from one task to another. I know we all think, especially as ladies, that we're really good at multitasking, but the truth is we're not. We're not very good at it at all. So I just wanna urge you to try your very hardest not to do that. And that can be things like closing off tabs in your computer as well to make sure that you're not checking emails every five minutes or not getting notifications as well. You never want technology to kind of stop you from being able to be productive and taking your attention away from your task at hand. So prioritizing those tasks, understanding which need to actually get done today um, is a really, really big one. All right, and my last and final tip in terms of having super productive working time is making sure that we are blocking off when we're working and when we're not because we're all here to build a profitable lifestyle business, right? Lifestyle being a very key part of that, um, of that phrase. So making sure that we have our, our work time, but we also have time to relax and enjoy and spend time with family and friends, or just even downtime for ourselves to, re to recoup and reju rejuvenate so that we can serve our clients and our prospects even better.
right? So we want to make sure that we are having that balance. So making sure that when it comes down to your routine and your overall working schedule, that you are definitely blocking out both working time as well as out of work time. So making sure that we're looking after you, right? That is it. That is all from me today. I hope you've enjoyed and that this has been super helpful in making sure that you're both super productive and getting tons and tons done during your working time, but also spending some time looking after you. And finally, be sure to like this video, subscribe and comment below. Let us know what else it is that you'd like us to help you with or if you want any other content, especially in regards to your overall productivity from me, just let us know in the comments below and we'll keep an eye out for them.